Hello and welcome to Mitchell's World and today we're going to be building a Majin Buu candy dispenser. So for today, this Majin Buu candy dispenser was inspired by none other than Majin Buu from the Dragon Ball Z series and the Dragon Ball Super series. And as most of us know, if you're watching this video, Majin Buu, Buu loves, loves candy. And I thought it would be awesome just to do a little candy dispenser. Now this, I just looked up a few different reference images to figure out what he actually looked like in his silhouette. So then I could draw in my notebook and get a few ideas of how it felt and how it looked just to make sure it looked like Majin Buu. And I think it looks pretty good for the silhouette. And then also I had to figure out how to do this lever mechanism. So I just drew it out on a piece of wood and then with the whole silhouette including the antenna for the lever. And then once I did that, I drew in the inside of it through these little, uh, the, the rest of this lever on the inside and some open space so that the candy can fit in it and so that there would be an open mouth so that the candy can be dispensed. And now once I did that, I just cut out the outside with a bandsaw and then used that as a tracer to trace the other two sides. Now these are just three pieces of real thick wood that's typically used for houses, but I used the, the, those pieces for my Majin Buu head. Now I think it turned out really well. Now once I had these two other pieces, the side pieces, I would just, I could now cut into the center piece and then make the inside space and everything without ruining my stencil and then getting pieces that don't fit together. And now once I did that, I could now glue the head together and keep this lever separate. Because I want to keep, I want to have this lever movable so I can't glue it with the rest of it. So now I once, ha once I had this glued, I went on a belt sander and I would just move it along back and forth and make this all even together. And then I would round off the sides a little bit because we don't want it just straight and static, it would look kind of strange. Um, and then once we did that, uh, I just sanded it real nice, tried to get it as smooth as I could. And I would try this lever constantly to see if it fit right. And you're going to do have to do a lot of sanding to it, but you'll get there. And then, if it, but if it's too loose, you sand it too much, it's going to be a problem because now the candy's just going to fly out, and you're never, it's not going to stay stationary like this, and it's not going to hold candy. So once we did all of that, I cut out these little circles using. Um, actually a paint can. Just put a small paint can on the wood and trace it out and then cut it out with a bandsaw and then rounded it off on the belt sander, the, the uh, stationary belt sander and there's the ears. So then after I had all the pieces and sanded it off smooth and everything then I went to the painting stage. Now paint everything before you assemble it. Um, now just keep in mind for the ooze antenna, the, try not to paint the parts that actually come in contact with the other wood because it will rub together and it could cause little uh, specks of the paint to fall off onto your candy. Avoid that, as, avoid that. it's not good. Um, unfortunately I did paint it on that, those sides and that's how I learned that. So try not to paint the sides that actually touch the wood. And when you're painting it, 
I just went by eye. After I looked at the reference images, I just I went to the store and found different paints that looked right. And for the mouth, I did a little darker uh, pink, so it would contrast. And it was also just like the reference images. And the outside is just light pink, that looked like it matched. And it looks. I just used a paint, a small little paintbrush, and just did it. Did these little flushes by eye, and just kind of made the lines, just like in the show. And then for the eyes, I just used a pencil first and I just made a little line just like I'm trying to match as much as the reference image as I can and then I just painted over it and now for the eyes I did two coats and that's for the rest of it too I did two coats on everything except for these little flushes on for the cheeks that I just did one one and done and for the ears to get as best a circle as you can you have to use something to trace it and I actually had a little coin that was uh, supposed to look like the Two-Face coin from Batman. And that was a perfect stencil. I just put that on there, traced it, and I was able to paint it. And now when you paint it, you can... I usually coat, put a lot of paint on that brush. And I can put it on and then spread it out towards the edges. And then kind of start to work along the edge. It's kind of hard to get that circle, but you'll get used to it, and then you'll be able to get that full circle. It's not going to be perfect. If you can get it perfect, good on you, because I could. But do that twice, two coats. And then for the little dots on the top of his head, um, I used a penny to, stra to just trace it, it out with a pencil. And if you get marks on the outside of the uh, circles, with the pencil you can just easy erase it, no problem. And then I also did two coats of black paint on those. And then after that, I had a dowel that I drilled through one side of Majin Buu's head, through the antenna, and then halfway through the second piece, or the last piece. And that will be our little mechanism so we can move the antenna back and forth. And once you take the dowel, you just push that in and you, you can just have the whole dowel, push it in. And then once it looks good, you can just mark it and then take it out, put it on the bandsaw, cut it, and then put that back in. Make sure you paint the outside of it so it matches everything. And put a little bit of glue on the in the inside the last hole so that this will always stay stationary but don't go crazy with the glue because we don't want it to spread out and get stuck on the antenna and then not be able to work so once we do that we can also put the ears on now I just did one ear at a time and that worked pretty well if you have a big clamp like a quick grip clamp that'll work too but, I just did one at a time, and I think it looks pretty darn close to Majin Buu. And thank you very much for watching. Um, if you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe, and leave a comment on whether you like this, or whether you want me to do something different, or any of your ideas or thoughts. I'd appreciate it very much, and you guys have a good one.